Whether you have Down syndrome, adore someone who does, or just want to show your support, the upcoming Tucson Buddy Walk is just for you. Allison Shug and Chelsea Hansen are here to tell us all about this day full of friendship, entertainment, and celebration for the whole family. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Thanks. Thank you for coming. And you know, you were on last time with a different friend talking about the Buddy Walk, but um, so we kind we kind of have a. We information about that, but we're wondering, you know, there, what is the what is SAN's goal for the Buddy Walk this year? Because you, you always want to raise money, yes. goes towards a good place. Well, the general goal that we usually have for Buddy Walk is to, along with raising awareness, is also raising funds. This year we have a high goal of seventy-five thousand dollars, and that is because next year the Down Syndrome Convention is going to be in Phoenix, and it doesn't get any closer than that. This year it was in where was it in Indianapolis? Indianapolis, thank you. And we want to be able to send as many families as we possibly can there. It's basically, you know, in your backyard. So we, of course, want to take advantage of that. So what is our goal as far as a, as a huge fundraising effort? What is our goal to raise? Our, go ahead. Our goal this year is $75,000. And that will enable us to send, we, you know, we don't want money to be the reason why families won't be able to attend. So um, we are pushing hard to get, to re meet our goal. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, reach your reach goal. Your goal. Mm -hmm. Yes, and and that's nice because you don't want that financial burden, especially when it's so close. It's in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So how far are you, um, or how close are you to that goal already? As of this morning, I think we're just over thirty thousand dollars. So we have a ways to go. We yes. have a ways to go, but the Buddy Walk is this weekend. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so the Buddy Walk itself, uh, who is it that we're inviting out to come and walk? Is it somebody that has a family that has someone that, with Down syndrome or just anybody in the community? Anybody in the community come out. Um, we have several people even on our board that don't have any connection to anybody with Down syndrome. So it's going to be at Repark. We're going to have inflatables for kids. There's going to be food trucks. There's going to be a silent auction and raffle. I think some of our silent auction items is like, um, a, pine, a rental and a cabin in Pine this, um, for 12 people. There's going to be hotel stays. There's going to be a signed U of A basketball. So we want everybody to come out and just enjoy the company and the friends and help us, yes, raise some funds to meet our goal, but to also just, you know, interact with our family and our friends. And make some new friends along the way. Exactly. I love it. And, you know, I know. Chelsea, you were on last time. Allison, thank you for joining us this time. But can you give us a little um, taste of what, what is SANS? So SANS is a uh, 501c3 nonprofit, and we are um, we work together to not only raise funds through the Buddy Walk and different events that we have during the year, but to promote awareness and inclusion of individuals with Down syndrome, um, to celebrate their um, their uniqueness and what they can bring to the community and um, the part of the funds that are raised also help to put on workshops and um, classes and trainings for families and it also goes to our give it back program which anyone um, that has down syndrome or has a loved one with down syndrome can apply for funds for special equipment we've um, helped to fund strollers and car seats um, they can pay for training or classes. Um, they can apply to go to the convention and have some of those funds offset by, um, by a grant. And I love that you say that you want to bring awareness. So let's use this platform as a, as a way to give awareness. Give us a little background on what is Down syndrome. Down syndrome is when someone is born with a third copy of their 21st, I'm sorry, 21st chromosome. You and I have two copies of that chromosome. Um, most of the time you will see the facial characteristics, um, sometimes a little shorter, but they also sometimes have the developmental delays associated with it. But there are so many more medical advances that people are living longer. They are making it through um, childbirth and they are living past you know, young ages. And in fact, there's a gentleman in, I think, um, New Mexico who owns his own restaurant who has Down syndrome. So they are have so much to offer and to be able to contribute and it's just letting people know that they are capable of so much more than a lot of what they've been allowed to achieve not too long ago. And you know at any event that I have gone to uh, for Down Syndrome I, just being there it just makes you feel so positive they make you feel so welcome and so great if it's an event that you have not uh, been to you know anyone at home it's definitely something you need to come and be a part of. My daughter always gives the most therapeutic hugs. Yep. Not only does she hug you, but she also pats your back. <laughs> and everybody just melts. So it's really great. I think that's very true. 
I love it. And and so where are those? We kind of touched on it earlier, but the funds that are being raised at the Buddy Walk, they're going to everything that Allison talked about, plus every trying to send the families there. So so let's let's get one more plea out there to tell people to come out. <laughs> Please come out. Yes. You know we can go to our sandsaz.org website and you can donate financially there. It is a nonprofit, so it is tax deductible, which is everybody loves that. But there's going to be so many other opportunities there at the walk to help us achieve our goal. And our goal is we trying to serve everybody all in southern Arizona. That's a lot of people. Mm -hmm. so. And, of course, you guys are a part of SAMS. How does someone get involved with SAMS as well beyond the walk? Um, there are multiple volunteer opportunities, okay. not only at the walk, but throughout the year for our different events. And we'd love to have people come out and help and show their support. And I'm sure you'll be there at the walk this weekend to give them that information. Oh, yes. So definitely come out. You're invited to be a part of the 13th annual Tucson Buddy Walk taking place this Sunday, November 9th from 1 to 5 p.m. at the Reed Park Demeester Outdoor Performance Center. And like we said, registration is free and you can find out more information by calling 477-2929 or logging on to sandsaz.org.